Hey everyone, it's Christy. Welcome back. It's been a super duper long time since I've done a video, so please forgive me if I start repeating myself or like umming and awing the whole time. It's been a while, so cut me a little slack for this one. Um, what's new? Obviously I've changed my hair color. I went for a brown and I don't know how I feel about it yet. Some days I like it, other days I'm like, oh my gosh, it's horrible. I'd love to hear your opinions on it. Other than that, for me, life has been super duper awesome. My daughter recently celebrated her fourth birthday. Kick ass. It was an amazing day for everybody. Um, I went to the beach, got super duper sunburnt, and broke a finger trying to catch football. That's life for you. Um, yeah, so I guess that's my quick little update. What I actually wanted to talk about in this video is the incident at the Cincinnati Zoo uh, that happened. So if you haven't heard already, at the Cincinnati Zoo, there was a four-year-old toddler and this toddler got into the gorilla enclosure and they ended up shooting this gorilla. Um, I'm pretty pissed off at the mom. Uh, well, from what I've heard, this child had to go through three different enclosure fences to get into the gorilla zone. And like, uh, if, if you don't have a toddler, you might not realize, but they have to do a lot of extra work to keep up with how fast we walk. They have to do a lot of extra work to get around things and reach things and whatnot. From what I've heard, it would have taken this child like five to seven minutes to get into the enclosure by going through these three different fences where was the mom? Like, what was she doing that she didn't check on her child for a full five to seven minutes? I'm really frustrated about that. I think that the mom needs to be looked into for like child, no, well, not abuse, but like endangerment or something. It, it really gets to me. I don't know. But you know what? Who am I to say how people should take care of their children? I just think they should keep them out of gorilla enclosures. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, it gets to me. My child's four years old now. She wouldn't do that type of thing. She knows. She has to hold a hand when she crosses the street. She knows when we go to a mall or something and then we're in a clothing store that, yes, she can hide in the clothing racks. But she has to come when called. She's not allowed to leave the store and she's not allowed to jump out at other people. Like, you can tell your children these things. Ha! He's a four, the child's four years old. I guess he wanted to see a gorilla, but like, I don't know. I just feel like the mom really let him down in this situation, whether like the child actually thought it was okay to try and get in to see the gorilla or like the mom was just simply not paying attention. That's what really irritates me. Um, my friend, on the other hand, she is super duper pissed about the gorilla being shot. She thinks that the mom needs to be like charged with murder or something. <laughs> Clearly, I think that's excessive, but you know what? We all have our opinions, whether we think that they're extreme or not. Um, well, the mom didn't say shoot that gorilla. It was clearly a choice made by the zoo staff. And you know what? They're the people that know about this animal. This animal, uh, the gorilla's name was Harambe, had been there for 17 years. I'm sure it was no easy decision for them to decide that it needed to be shot. Um, clearly they decided that, you know, the animal was uh, too much of a danger to this child. And that's what they had to do. Um, one of the zoo staff I've heard said that this gorilla can take a coconut's hand and just crush the thing. So clearly there was safety issues. Uh, other people that are more animal rights type people, I do believe in animal rights, obviously. However, other people that are a little more extreme are saying, oh no, the gorilla was just holding its, the boy's hand and you know, walking through the water trying to protect it. Other people are saying it was dragging it through the water and it could have drowned. So it really, it really depends on how you take the situation. I think it's unfortunate that Harambe was shot. Um, but I mean, it has to be what had to happen. Otherwise they wouldn't have done it. These people are experts in the animal. So I think it's ridiculous the whole, oh, charge that mom with murder. Like, 
what? However, yeah, I do think that the mom should be looked into for, um, I don't know, like child endangerment or something. It's a really frustrating thing for me. I, as a mother, it's, I can't imagine how stressful that would be. But anyway, no, I'd love to hear your opinions on the whole situation. Uh, what should happen? Should the mother be getting in trouble or not? Um, what type of things can happen to prevent these things from happening in the future? Anyway, uh, leave it in the comments and I'll see you later.